Teespring tutorial, how to make money with Teespring. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can make money with Teespring. Now we all have heard about simple quick fixes to make money. But if you're someone that is interested in a little bit of design and you like to use Canva or any other tool like Figma, and you want to create something that you can sell, Teespring is going to be a great option for you. So the best part about using Teespring is that all you have to do is design and Teespring handles the rest for you. Simply head on over to teespring.com and then click on start creating. Once you do that, it's time to add your name or your brand name. So let's say my brand name is Lily and we're going to input our email address over here. Once we do that, we are simply going to type in our password, confirm that we are not a robot, and then click on sign up. Now, this is just the sign up process. Once you do that, you are going to choose your desired store URL. Now, this is going to be your permanent URL, so just try to make it as nice as possible. Let's try lily.creator slash spring.com. We'll click on continue and it will tell you if it's available or not. For me, Lily was available, so that's pretty great. Now, once we have done that, this is going to be your dashboard. So on your dashboard on the left, you have a home section, upgrades, a create section, integrations, where if you're looking to make money, you can link your Teespring products on to platforms like Beacons, TikTok, OnlyFans, Discord, Linktree, YouTube, StoryDrop, and sell on other social media platforms. You also have a analytics tab. You have listings, stores, payouts, purchases, and more. Now, one really important strategy you can always adopt is to create a Shopify store. And you can start creating a Linktree product and then just list them onto Shopify. If you want, you can even purchase your own domain with the Linktree and build your own Linktree store. So that's totally up to your personal preference. Now, to make money, we have to make products. Now, to make some easy products, just click on create product on the left. And this will open up the Teespring marketplace. And you will see the option of different types of products that are available. You can go into the best sellers to see some of the different things that you can design. It includes things like apparel for women and men and babies. And you also have hats, digital content, as well as home and decor stuff. Even things like puzzles, blankets, pillows, drinkware. Then you also have accessories, footwear, bags, hats, and more. Then you also have some of your specific collections. So you can build a collection of products because they're going to be similar. So, you know, you can create a swimsuit and a tote bag and a flask and some slides. So everything goes together and it's going to provide you with an aesthetic that you can sell. Especially when you're building collections, this is going to be an easy money maker because when you're building collections, you can basically use the same design over and over again. So the same print could go on a hoodie, could go on a t-shirt, could go on a beanie, could go on a hydro flask. It really does not matter. This is up to your personal preference though, how much effort you want to put in to each individual design. But I'll show you guys how you can make some good designs in a few simple easy steps. Now, other than that, there are some other things you should consider. If you open up t-shirts, let's say, you're going to find the same thing listed at with different suppliers. We have women's classic tea, comfort tea, maple tea, boyfriend tea, premium v-neck, all over print, and then the classic unisex tea. Now, you will find the materials as well as the fit listed. So you will see that you want to ensure that the materials you're using as well as the fit can be specified on your either your own website or is something that you think is going to look nice. Now, I'm going to go with the classic tee. Once I go with the classic tee, it's time to start adding my design. So on the left, you can firstly choose your product color. So what are the variations you want to sell this in? Let's say I wanted to sell this in this uh, dark gray and then a light pink. After that, I can choose my product design from the top left. Now to build my product design, I'm just going to open up Canva and we're going to whip up a quick design. Firstly, one thing to note is that the max file size is 50 MBs. Then another really important thing to note 
is that if your product design is really small and you're trying to print it on this large area, the product quality is going to be deteriorated. And if the product quality or the print quality is going to be deteriorated to a really big extent, Teespring is not going to allow you to upload that, you know, that lower quality or lower resolution image. So if the design that you're picking has to cover a large area, make sure you're designing it in a large canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and go into Canva, then I'll click on custom size over here. I'm going to choose a width of 20 in inches. So 20 inches and a height of 24. And then I'll just click on create new design and my canvas will be loaded up. And once I have done that, it's time to start designing. I want to build something that is summery and cute. So I'm going to go into elements on the left and I'm just going to search for pink. Then I'm going to go into graphics. Once I go into graphics, I can take a look at some of the cute illustrations. So we're just going to go ahead and wait for these. So there are quite a few different cute options. I think I want to go with this rainbow over here. So I'm going to add that and I'm just going to place that at the center. Then I'm also going to darken the colors a little. So I'm just going to take whatever color we have and move it slightly lower. So it's slightly darker because I do have this color palette. And I'm already printing on a pink shirt, so I want it to be a little darker than what the original one has. So we're just going to alter these one by one. And then I'll just click on this one over here and then darken this as well, like so. So once I've done that, we have a really cute little illustration. Now I can add something else to this, so I'll just add some text. I'll go into text over here, add some heading heading text and I'm going to click on the top left to alter the font so I'm just going to search for a bubble style font so we're just going to search for font styles this is the best part about using Canva is that it makes it really easy for you to do a search uh, for anything that you're looking for and we're just going to write summer like this and then I'll just use this Rubik bubbles font now this is not nice I don't like that we're going to search for something else. I'm going to look for a, yeah, this one looks nice. I'm just going to add that over here. I'm going to place it down below and then I'm going to click on layer and send it backward. Oh no, this is too, this is not going to look nice. So I'm going to have to place the text on top. I'll just place the text like this, click on effects on the top right, then click on the shape and give it a curved shape. Then I'm going to select my curve like this. And I'll just place it like so, ensuring that it is at the center over here. And I'm just going to now, now that I like this, I can just click on over here and then click on download. I can choose the download size as well as the transparent background. Make sure it is a transparent background or you can later on remove the background from remove.bg. Once you do that, you can go back into Teespring, click on add image, and then upload your newly created design. And you guys can see this looks really nice. I can scale it to be a little larger. Okay, you guys can see even with a pretty large size, it does tell me if I am supposed to, you know, create a larger resolution. And once I've placed it, I can click on continue, set my pricing, and then sell this product. You can also add it to multiple different designs as recommended by Teespring. So you can create a mug with it, a hoodie with it, stickers as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.